Alright guys, hi again, it's Ile. And today we're gonna try something a little different from uh, the previous experiments. Uh, we've been uh, doing the resonance frequencies, the formant frequencies, and I'm just gonna... Hi. <laughs> now you can see me a little better. Um, but as I said, today we're gonna try something a little different. Uh, for this, for you to fully understand what's going on, uh, you should be familiar with Affix Twin. I hope I uh, pronounced the name, uh, the uh, artist name correctly. Affix Twins, a uh, window licker, and the formula or equation, uh, whichever you prefer. Um, and um, the idea behind, or, or the whole hidden meaning behind these uh, songs is that if you run the entire song through a spectrogram, you should see um, weird uh, pictures or um, the Apex Twin guy's face or you know s something like that and he's not the only one who's been using this technique there are others as well it's in a way popular and according to <laughs> my very trusted uh, source of information Wikipedia uh, it suggests that and of course a couple of other um, information sources that I've been using uh, it suggests that uh, all these guys, well not all of them, but most of these guys used uh, some sort of program to convert images to uh, audio and then they added the song afterwards or it's something like that. I'm very not sure about these facts but this is uh, one one of the uh, stories behind it but what we're gonna do this time I set up a reason environment to uh, produce very simple uh, patterns and uh, we're gonna run it through a spectrogram I'm gonna show you how, what happens and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the process uh, that um, takes uh, place behind this whole thing I'm gonna try to keep this short not to try to uh, bore you or anything uh, so with uh, less than further ado, let's go to the reason and I'm going to show you what's going on. Okay then, so I think the best way to start this is to go through the uh, what spectrocrime really is. <coughs> Excuse me. So, uh, in the X, Y axis, we have the X axis which would represent time or progression of the signal or audio in our case. And the y-axis is uh, the um, signal uh, frequency, starting from zero all the way to well. This picture would suggest 20 kHz. Um, I I'm not sure what it is in in our spectrogram, but anyway, time and frequency, and then the whole color thing going on. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, the whole color thing going on means that the darker the color the less gain the signal has and the you know closer the color is to white the higher the gain or volume or whatever you prefer that's the whole basic idea of spectrocram now let me show you the um, uh, setup on reason th that we're gonna use I'm gonna come back to that later here we have the entire thing <coughs> I have two uh, Thor patches with bo both uh, they both have a noise oscillator inside and the amplitude envelope in the sustain all the way up so that we don't lose any signal on the on the progress and you don't really need the low uh, low pass ladder filter right here I just you know I left it there just to confuse you if nothing else just to con confuse you uh, this Thor patch is labeled as vertical Sorry, vertical and the other one is horizontal and why I did this is I'm gonna uh, I did uh, I, I draw my name with the signal it's I L E and it's very straightforward with uh, 90 degree edges around so I kinda broke down the entire uh, progression to uh, vertical and horizontal elements and in these vocoders, I set the equalizer on, mode on so that it's very uh, it's easier to filter out 
the frequencies that I'm not going to use. The white noise covers the entire frequency spectrum and <coughs> since I'm going to cut these uh, different elements, different frequencies, it's easier for me to control the output. It's uh, very precise. I use the uh, FFT, the 512 uh, band and each of these have a different uh, vertical um, vertical uh, filter cuts and the same way with the horizontal I have uh, for horizontal uh, filter cut cuts I have different uh, setups and the circle uh, this is my uh, latest <laughs> attempt to draw a circle it has two maelstrom units uh, with sine wave and a pitch control in the modulator A envelope and this button right here it um, changes the uh, the curve from 9 to 10 when uh, needed <coughs> and um, in the sequencer how it looks like is here we have the vertical and you can see it's very short these are 1 16th of a note length so that you know in the uh, progression in the x-axis progression you can see only in like uh, tall columns that are not too long and the uh, horizontal as uh, as soon as I find it right here you can see it's a little longer it's uh, 2 times 16 so it's uh, 32 <coughs> 32 uh, in length so it's twice the length of the uh, uh, vertical and I mapped the uh, equalizers to go from enabled mode to off mode every time I need them individually okay so this is very straightforward I think this is my um, solution to um, to do this there are many other ways but this is what I tried and this is how it sounds like and then we have the circle right there in the end so um, let's see what it looks like in spectrogram uh, I'm gonna put a link where you can download this um, uh, this software uh, it's free to use and it's very good I noticed it you know it works and from here let me see spectro ele plus right here and uh, the whole thing uh, behind this uh, spectro uh, cram um, these are just you know display characteristics you don't really need to worry about that sample characteristics in our case doesn't really uh, you don't you don't really need it but here we have uh, the linear and logarithmic scale and I suggest you use the logarithmic um, or well it doesn't really matter which one you use it's just you know it 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 shows up differently um, depending on which one you use uh, I notice I have the best results by using logarithmic scale but I can show you the linear as well so here we go once I press OK it's gonna uh, run the wave uh, signal through the spectrogram let's go okay so as you can see it spells I L E quite quite well I mean you, you can you can see there's something happening and then the circle you know it's something of a either a circle or very <laughs> messed up fish <laughs> or something uh, I'm, I'm just gonna run through the uh, uh, the uh, linear as well just you know compare these two so again we go with the spectro ele plus and we're gonna go with linear and boom let's go yeah as you can see, as you can see it it is a little different uh you, you can't really make much out of the uh, letters and the circle is nowhere even near of a circle 
But anyway, this, this was a good good practice of um, going through a spectro uh, spectro crime. And well, hey, good good luck. I'm just gonna put these links down so you know if you guys want to try it. So hopefully this was a little bit more interesting <laughs> than the uh, previous videos that I did. And you know if you wish to try, uh, good luck. And if uh, you feel like uh, trying the uh, software um, that I mentioned earlier, the um, <clears throat> the one that uh, turns uh, images to this um, audio, well, uh, you should try to find. I I didn't uh, even try to locate one online. Yeah, anything that would suit uh, this purpose. But anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed uh, this little piece of video, and I'll see you again as soon as I <laughs> think of something else uh, to make video about. But, Spectrogram, yay!